Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lutra FM. Um, before I bring you the next episode of the Fight Club Pro Save, I just want to make a little announcement. So, with TEW9, the new game coming out pretty soon, uh, what I've decided to do is start the Fight Club Pro Save again from scratch. Go back to how I had it before. I got too carried away with bringing in um, the best foreign wrestlers that you know like american japanese or just any wrestlers whereas i should have really just tried to keep it as british wrestlers for the save that's what i originally wanted to do was try and make it a british super fed uh and work my way up slowly and i got um halfway through basically i just changed what i wanted to do which kind of for me ruined the fun of the save if i wanted to save a soup if i wanted to manage a super promotion bringing all the best wrestlers in other than wwe or aw which doesn't really interest me that much so what i want to do is finish up next couple of episodes doing this um as it is i'm just going to go all out have a bit of fun i've i've basically created six or seven super performance centers and jenny half any rubbish wrestler are in that performance center so we'll see how that goes on see how they improve uh in the performance center see if we can make them better wrestlers and i'll just do the best with what i've got kind of got a bit downhearted after like mark andrews morgan webster or kenny williams when they all started getting poached um it kind of made it a little less interesting for me now i've still i've still interested to a point i've still got like in my head where uh storylines where i want to go um but yeah I want to start fresh, use the new features with a brand new database, um, modern day database. So there might be a little bit of downtime between between next week and whenever the somebody releases a modern day uh, mod. But for at least this week, you've got TW2020 content, uh, Fight Club Pro and Ring of Honor. Um, so yeah, just it's just like I said for the last, I've been thinking about it for the last week or two, if I carry on this save, um, if I, I mean, I can convert it over to the new game, but I just think it might just, I don't think it will work as well. I think I need to start a fresh save. So I'm going to start a fresh save as Fight Club Pro, the TW9. I'm going to try and keep it to the basics. It may take me longer to get to where I want to get, but that doesn't matter to me at the end of the day. As long as I get there, eventually that's fine. We will, I will succeed in making Fight Club Pro the best promotion in the world. Um, at least with TW9, we know that there's not going to be another TW game coming out for quite a few years. So, I mean, I think it's like, I mean, it's 2024 now. I think TW 2020 might have come out in 2020 or might have been slightly before, I don't know. So, you know, I've got <laughs> I've got at least five years <laughs> to try and do achieve what I want to achieve. But anyway, this intro has gone on long enough. So when I come back, We'll get cracking with the uh, the TW save, but I just wanted to let you all know what my plans are. Like I said, I want to get back to basics, start the start the fight for the pro save again, um, get it back to how I wanted it, where it was fun for me, and then if it's fun for me, hopefully it'll be fun for you. And in the meantime, we've got another week or two of doing this save, so let's see what we can do while we've still got the save going. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Right here we are. Um, so yeah, so like I said in the intro, I will be um I have invested in some in a dojo and a performance center. So um we'll see how that goes. If I just click on this. Uh there we go. So we've got the Fight Club Dojo and then we've got I've just named them one after the other. Um and I've literally just sent as many wrestlers as possible that need improving to these performance centers. So I don't know how long these type of things take. To start working but we'll, we'll soon see um i've i've just used the editor and i've just basically because i wanted i needed so much like a, a million pounds like not a million pounds sorry literally a billion pounds to do what i wanted to do so i've used some tinkering with the editor um and then as soon as i did it i felt like oh, kind of ruined the whole the whole aim of this save so as soon as i did that i was a bit downhearted and i think that's why i've come to that decision what, I, what i'm gonna do is call it a day on this save after the next two episodes but then obviously it will come back for tw9 but we'll start from fresh and what i'm going to do is keep to basics i'm going to try and tie down some of the best workers i've got to written contracts at least um for now 
just to give me some security so they don't get poached away. I'm hoping whichever database I use is one that's pretty good when it comes to having loads of good workers on there. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, we've got our first show, first Afterburn episode. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to look at the storylines. We have got Julia and Valkyrie. Uh, there's no point me starting any storylines other than this one now. So what we'll do, we'll do a four ways singles match for the women's title to start the show. And then we'll just do that. Um, so let's have a look who we've got because we don't really have many good women's workers now, unfortunately. Um, Jetta retired and she was pregnant anyway. So she retired and then, like I said, we are really struggling now for women's wrestlers. I'll try Sexy Star, mostly because she was okay in Lucha Underground. She might be decent enough here. And then I'm going to try this Princess Suji, just in case she might be decent enough, hopefully. So I'm going to do women's. Who's the current women's champion? Is it? I can never remember if it's Julia or not. Uh, Valkyrie, that's it. So yeah, so we'll just have Valkyrie retain it. Mm. Norton, uh, there we go. That's that. Um, that's that done. That's the first match done. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll do Valkyrie fighting Julia. In. So we'll have like a post-match brawl between them to keep the storyline hot. Uh, and then what we'll do, what we're going to do now is do a tag team match. Um, who is the, I think it's still more than hype, isn't it? Yeah. It's all right. It takes me a while because obviously in between recordings, a week, a week goes by and I completely forgot what, what I've done. So we'll do Nathan Martin. Darren. Ugh. Okay, we'll do it this way. We'll do it there. They they obviously don't want me to do it. My oh, Darren Kern is injured anyway, isn't he? Um. Let's have a look. Male. Oh yeah, he's injured. I completely forgot. So we're going to have to vacate the tag titles. Actually, no, we don't. No, we don't because I don't think he's out that long. So we'll just do a tag team number one contendership match. So who are we going to pick? Um, pretty Deadly, probably the first team. So we'll have Pretty Deadly in there. If it lets me move across. Um, actually, no, do you know what we'll do? We'll do something different. We'll have Nathan Martin and he gets to pick his partner. And uh, he is in another tag team, if I remember. And I can't remember what the tag team is. Or is he in another tag team? Have I imagined that? I have I have actually imagined that. Right, okay. So we'll do singles view and we'll do Akid because Akid hasn't wrestled for ages for us, so we'll put him in there. Um we will have the tag titles on the line. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna Elton Prince and Kit Wilson win the tag titles. And then, yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have Nathan Martin attack a kid after the match for losing the tag titles. Um, do I need to do something with the booking on here? I do, don't I? I need to have but protect Nathan Martin so he doesn't take the fall. It will take something away from the match, but it's for storyline purposes. But now Nathan Martin, even though we haven't got babyface in the heels, he is playing more of a heel than a babyface now. And then when Darren Kearney comes back, um, we can do something with them too um, and do like the proper tag split and then have them in a feud against each other. So that's what I think I'll do. Hopefully Darren Kearney's back for the, the next show. Um, I do need to start a storyline, actually. But um, I'll do that after this show. Right, so 47 minutes done. We've got, like, another 15 minutes that we can do. What we'll do is 
we'll do a TV, we'll do the TV title, we'll do like a, a multi-man, multi-person, I can't get my words out there, I'm so sorry, multi-man match for the, we'll do a seven ways, and we'll do it for the TV title, and what we'll do is, we'll do it as a ladder match, uh, ladder, there we go, my voice is very croaky again, sorry about this. 18 minutes, TV title. Right, let's have a look who we're going to have in this. I only want my best, my best sport, my best guys in here. So we'll have Joseph Connors, Rich Swan. Uh, hmm, no, not Mark Haskins. I was going to do Mark Haskins then. Uh, Thomas Billington. Scotty Davis, I think. Rampage, not Rampage, Rampage, and then who else? Um, hmm. Davy Boy Smith Jr. Maybe? No, do you know what? Blue Kane, Levi Muir, and then we'll leave it blank and we'll let the AR decide. The AR, AI, AI, the side. Right, we've gone over slightly. We'll just change this. Ah. What are they not happy about? Yeah, that's fine. I'm not bothered about that. Sexy stars used too much. That's fine. Right. Okay. So here we go. Right, so the first match is the women's four way match, and um, Valkyrie retains the title. Got a 73 rating. Valkyrie with 81, Ghoulie with 82, Sexy Star with a 24. She's just not good at all. Um, Princess Sujay with a 41. Obviously, the storyline has picked up a bit now. Um, so that's good. And then the angle afterwards got a 70, which is pretty strong for us. Um, the tag title match got a 76. Um, 86 for Nathan Martin. Standout performance again by him. Pretty deadly are getting better and better as a tag team. They're getting higher in-ring ratings. A-Kid was alright, but he could have done better, I reckon. 76 overall. And then the angle afterwards got a 52, so not very good. Um, A-Kid underperformed. Nathan Martin looked good, though. So a new push for Nathan Martin as a single star. And then in the seven-way TV title uh, match, we had Rich Swan win the TV title, got an 83 rating. Uh, a lot of good performances here. And uh, Levi Moore got a 62, which is pretty good. Kate Blue Kane got a 46. So, yeah, so that's good. Might give them a renewed, them to a renewed push. Um, increased the popularity in one region. Overall rating of 78. 231 people turned up. So not too bad to start the episode. Hopefully, we'll have a quick look at when this finishes in a sec. We'll have a look at the medical, because I, I swear Darren Kearney's not out for long. If he is out for long, then we'll just, it'll just prolong the storyline, because Nathan Martin will just be pushed as a single star until he can come back. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good news, isn't it? Fight Club Pro have risen to small size. So that's really good. So I, I think that means, let's have a look at the media. Oh, look at all these, look at all these now. For music, for USA. Dave, Dave, I could be on Dave, everyone. Only people in the UK will know what that means. Uh, E4. Uh, Fox in Britain, iSpots. IW, IWT TV, Mayore TV. I think they're in Japan only, aren't they? Oh no, uh, Tasmania. Oh yeah, so that be that'll get me some. Um, let's try that one actually. We'll get that one. Uh, not willing. Oh, well done. So we do one year. Late evening. Not willing to do that. What about prime time? No. I'm not keen on you. To take that time slot. They would expect you to offer a financial. Okay. So, um, we'll just do that, and then what we'll do is, 
graveyard. I don't want graveyard. I want early afternoon. Afternoon. There you go. We'll just go afternoon for now. So that's that sorted. So we're now going to have some uh, our uh, our wrestling broadcast in Tasmania. Let's see what other channels we can go for here. Sky two. Oh God, there's loads. Oh no, there isn't. Sorry, I stand corrected. Virgin Media. Exciting times ahead, everybody. Um, I shan't bother though. Actually, I will try. I'm going to see if I can get a, a new a new TV show, new Overdrive. Ah, it still won't let me have two TV shows, which is really annoying. Oh well, nice to see that I can broad, uh, get more broadcasters. Right, Savannah Evans is on the final month of the contract. We're not too bothered about her, so we'll just release her. I don't think I even used her once, or if I did, she wasn't very good. Uh, Khan's got moral issues, Griff Gallon's got emotional. I'll sort that out in a minute afterwards. So, right, I'll come back in a sec for the Wrestle House event. Right, I'm back. And, um, yeah, so I can't do a psycho sermon because I've already done it two months ago. So, um, what we're going to do is have a quick look at absent workers. Uh, see if there's anybody that we really could do with having here. Darren Kearney is out injured still. Uh, I forgot to look at the medical. So Jetta is on a maternity leave because she's obviously retired. Joey Janela is not uh, able to work for us tonight. He's working elsewhere. Nick Effingage is working elsewhere as well. Um, Santana Garrett's working elsewhere, but I don't think there's really anybody there that we're going to miss. Um, but let me just have a look at the medical. Darren Kearney's out for three days, so we can't work this. He can work angles, though, so guess what we're going to do at some point on this show. Um, we'll do it now before I forget. So we'll have Nathan Martin fighting Darren Kearney selling. So we're just going to do this off the bat. We'll have that. Um, we'll do a match first, though. We'll do a seven ways women's match. We'll have Gulia, Valkyrie, Zaya. Now we're stuck. Uh, Bianca, Borelli, I suppose. Kyra, I'll get Kyra because I don't think we used her yet. Or Koguma. We might have done, I just can't remember. And then Mayu, Amasaki. Let's try some of these Japanese women out and hope it works out well. We'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide. So we'll push that up here. We'll have that one there. Um, and then we're going to do a singles match with Nathan Martin. We're going to have Nathan Martin versus Rich Swan for the TV title. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have we're going to have Rich Swan win it. We'll have an open match. Uh, we'll go all out. And then what we're going to do is um, we'll do like a, on it, what's it called? Accidental interference, botched interference finish. There you go. So we'll have, yeah, Nathan Martin, Darren. Oh, I don't think it'll let me. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, okay. We'll just leave it as that then. Um, but yeah, we'll have Rich Swan win it. Ah, he's unhappy. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, we can. We don't need to have. We can have Nathan Martin win it. So Nathan Martin will win it. So Rich Swan had a very small reign as TV champion, but that's just how it is. Um, and then. Uh, advice putting Nathan this much. Okay, hold on, let's just knock it down a bit. Right, so we've done that. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll change the angle for now. When we'll wait until Darren Kearney comes back. So we'll just do that. But we will do this. We will do the split at some point. We've just got to wait for him to come back. So, right, so that's that. 
and then right, how long oh okay we'll do another singles now we'll do we'll do actually what we'll do is we'll do a multi-person tag team match four-way tag team match pretty deadly the new champions so obviously we'll have elton prince and wilson there and then um i think We'll have a little team of Rebel Cell because they haven't tagged up for a while. Um, we'll have the Thrillers in there. And then we'll have the Gates of Destiny as well. Like so. Right, 15 minutes. Tag team. We'll have Elton Prince and Kit Wilson retain them. Um, and then what we're going to do now, we're going to do a couple of singles matches. So we'll do Amazing Red versus Kid Life Plus 2, Battle of the Tag Partners. 15 minutes, we'll have Kid Life Plus 2 win this. We'll do High Spots as well. Um, right, what's the next match? Uh, we need to do some angles in a minute. So every match we do now, we'll probably need to do an angle afterwards. Right, see who we've got left on the roster. Uh, Thomas Billington versus... Hmm, Robert Dreisaker maybe, Mark Briscoe. Roshi Yamato gave Steves an edge. No, we've already done them. We've already done that match. Uh, Dalton Castle. Give Thomas Billington the win. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll do Thomas Billington beating up Dalton Castle after the match. So, right, so we've done 104 minutes so far. We, we can do quite a bit more if we wanted to. So what I'll do is I'm going to do a women's tag team match. I think we've got women on here that are tag teams. Oh, there we go. So we could do Scum 2, Electric Mayhem, or the... Actually, should we do a free one? We'll just... Oh, I can't. actually, I don't think we can do the freeway because I think there's two wrestlers here, and yeah, no, so we can't. So we'll go scum to versus electric mayhem if it lets me move it across, like so. There we go. Right, so we'll just do that, and then we'll call that the uh, toilet break match. I don't mean that in a horrible way to women, but yeah. So then, what we'll do now is we'll do a Four-way singles match for the heavyweight title. We'll go 20 minutes. Heavyweight title. So we've got Pack Male. See who we can have him against. Um Edge maybe. Actually, no, we won't put Edge in there. Oh. We won't put Edge in there because he won't be able to do a match that long. So we'll go Robert Dreiser. Uh, Mark Briscoe, maybe. Joseph Connors. Just trying to think if I can improve that in any way. No. And then what we'll do is we'll have Pack as the winner. Um, we'll go steal the show. Uh, we can't have Mark Briscoe in that much. Right, we need to change Mark Briscoe for somebody else who can actually go in the ring that long. Mail. Uh, Rick Williams, maybe? No, Loretta, Loretta Kid, Yamato. Uh, Hetcher, no, he's too old. Um, Gabe Stevenson. Gave Stevenson in there. 
there we go and then we just got to do an angle afterwards because we just have to because of the way they are with this game so we'll do Gabe Stevenson attacking path after the match and then we can have them two in a match at some point still and let's have a look at this booking analysis right amazing red don castle and kira been used too much slightly too much refereeing so what we'll do here is um we'll do that one right there we go right so in the first match valkyrie retains her women's title got a 74 rating uh gulia and valkyrie got 83 so they've improved massively now they're now like they're now our new Ginny and Kaylee Ray. Unfortunately, we don't have enough enough decent women's wrestlers to mix it up a bit. But uh, Zybrooks, I did the right. She got a 60. Bianca got a 59. So maybe them two need to be pushed a bit more. He were the 55. And then the other two, not so good. Uh, Nathan Martin defeated Rich Swan to win the uh, Hot Club Pro TV title. Very short reign for Rich Swan. Um, both wrestlers got 85. Match got an 84, good match overall. The angle afterwards got a 73. Um, and then Pretty Deadly retained their tag team titles, got a 77 rating. Best performer was Alton Prince. Um, Rampage Brown did well. Griff Garrison was not very good, neither was Tyre Loa, Tyre Leona, sorry, and Khan. Um, Kit Wilson did alright but not as good as Elton Prince so maybe Elton Prince has is is got a, a decent run in him as a singles wrestler at some point the uh, the match between the two high flyers of Amazing Red and Kid Lycos going 75, Kid Lycos won um, Kid Lycos with a 87 rating we need to change his gimmick apparently 81 rating for the Thomas Billington Dalton Castle match. Thomas Billington with an 89, Dalton Castle with a 44. So that just tells you everything you need to know. But they do have great chemistry. So that's good. Angle afterwards got a 46. Uh, the women's tag team match got a 69. Um, Haruka Yumasaka was the standout performer with a 74. I forgot she's a pretty good actual worker. And then the main event got an 85, which was really good. Pack retains the title, and uh, Pack got an 80 rating. Joseph Connors with an 86, he was a standout performer, but uh, Robert Dreisaker and Gabe Stevenson both did their part as well, 76 and 75, so that's really good. And then the angle afterwards to end the show got a 77. Uh, increased the popularity in 33 regions, got an 83 rating, and 710 people turned up. That's really, really good. Don't know, I think that's our biggest crowd. I could be wrong. But yeah, that's that's really good, that is. You never know, I might change my mind the way it's going. I might transfer the, the file over. Da, 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 da. Nothing really to show you here. 21,707 people overall watched the show. Um... Let me see how long I've been going for. Two seconds. Right then, I'll um. What I'll do is I'll do this afterburn episode, and then I'll call it a day for this uh, episode. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, so we've got the afterburn episode, which will end this uh, episode I'm doing today. Um, so I think Dan Kearney might be still injured. To be honest, actually, let's have a look in here. It will tell me on here, won't it? Medical. Uh, absent workers there we go yeah he's still injured he's out for a bloody long time this bloke for three days he's, he seems to be out longer than that i just want to start a storyline with him and nathan martin right then. let's start the show we'll do a four ways singles match nathan martin rich swan uh mysterious junior and Mark Briscoe. The only reason I put them two in the match because they were moaning that they weren't on the last show. Plus, they're not too bad in the ring. We'll do that. 
to TV title, we'll have Nathan Martin retain it. And then we'll have an angle after the match where Nathan Martin attacks Rich Swan after the match. So they're going to have like a mini feud until Darren Kearney can come back. Um, right, so next one is we do a four way singles for the women's title Julia, oh, Valkyrie, um, where is she? Yumasaki, and then Zy Brooks, though, because we really haven't got anybody else. I'll just leave it blank. It's probably going to pick Valkyrie anyway. And then what we'll do is we'll do Guli on the mic and Valkyrie on the mic. So they can do like a post match argument. Uh, we'll have a tag team title match on the wrong way. Going on here, three way tag team match then. Right, so we'll do Elton Prince, Kit Wilson versus uh, who's the Disciples of Destruction again? Nah, we're bothered then. No, nah, we've got pretty deadly. They're rubbish, they're not too good. They're not too, they're not good either. They're pretty good as a tag team. I'm thinking maybe the thrillers and hmm, the dirty blondes maybe. No. Let me think, let me think, let me think. The riot act. Well I'll put riot act in there. And obviously we'll have the champions retain. Right, so we've done 67 minutes, we've gone too far. Hold on, we've just got to. Oh, what have I done there? No, did not do that. Um, What have I done? There we go. Right. We'll just knock this down. Two minutes. Flipping out my stupid mouse pad. Right, there we go. Let's see how we go. So the four-way TV title match got a 79 rating. Nathan Martin retained. Nathan Martin and Rich Swan stood out. Uh, Mysterious Junior got a 68. Mark Briscoe not very good, unfortunately. Uh, Angle afterwards with Nathan Martin attacking Rich Swan got a 71 rating. Oh, for God's sake, I clicked that too quickly there. I do apologise. I don't know who won, but I assume it was Valkyrie. Oh, that's so annoying. I'll have to have a look at that afterwards. Um, yeah, the angle afterwards. Both women struggle off the mic, off script, sorry. So we need to script them next time. 57 rating for that. And then the tag team title match um, got a 75, pretty deadly retained. Um, Kit Wilson's really regressing. Elton Prince seems to be just above and beyond him now. 83, he got... Kit Wilson only got 65. And the rest of them weren't very good at all. Didn't get any increase in popularity. Overall rating was 75. 270 people turned up. Um, ah, Valkyrie defeated. Can I click on it? No, it won't let me. But yeah, Valkyrie retained it. Um, I'll have a quick look at the... I, I didn't... I didn't... I'll have a look at the... Road agent notes for that match. See who performed well in that women's match. Before I go, just wait for this to finish up. Taking its sweet time. Come on. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the inbox. There you go, Darren Kearney returns. Sorry about the dogs barking in the background, if you can hear that. Right, so we'll, we need to look at show history. 
Afterburn, there we go. So, got an 80 rating. Julie had 82 rating. Haruka Yamasaka had a 70. Valkyrie, unfortunately, 75. Zai Brookside with a 61. So, not bad of a match overall. But anyway, I'll just save it before I forget. On that note, I'll uh, leave you to leave leave you lot to it. But I'll have another Fight Club Pro episode on Saturday, and then there'll be a Ring of Honor episode on Sunday for TW Twenty Twenty. And hopefully next week, I think the new TW game comes out. I will be buying it. So hopefully somebody will release a database for it straight away, or not straight away, pretty much straight away, and then I can get cracking with the Fight Club Pro save. Um, hopefully it'll be a good database as well because I want it to be similar to the one i've got now on this one where you've got like super workers like mark andrews and um kenny williams and morgan webster and nathan martin darren kearney etc etc anyway right i'll leave you to it and i'll be back tomorrow with another uh, not tomorrow saturday with another episode bye <laughs>